good morning y'all we are actively waiting at the train welcome to day four four of vlogtober y'all know i get my words stumbled when i got my retainers in but we are on our way to the lake we are going to walk um because y'all already know that my doctor had cleared me to start easing back into some activities i had actually been walking have you seen a couple of my YouTube shorts and stuff like that? Um, but I'm going to try to do at least like three miles today. We'll see how I do. I have my Alani drink. I'm going to meet my friend Courtney for a little bit. She may not be able to stay the whole time um, just because she's in nursing school. And she said that she has a day full of studying. So I couldn't even leave my house until like I had everything situated um yeah but i just wanted to come on and let you guys know where we're headed off to got my watch got my money and on my way there i am listening to the book that i told you i got started it is if only for the summer by alexandria warren um yeah so i'm still in the beginning stages of it have not had the chance to really sit down and read it but that's why i love me a good audible because i can utilize it and listen to it during times like this so i'll pick you guys back up once we get to the lake So we are back at the house. I just finished having my breakfast. I'm about to set up my room downstairs. This is just a temporary thing. Long overdue, however. Um, am I allowed to tell my vlog? Cause it's gonna go up tonight to be aired tomorrow. Or still keep it a secret. Cause I don't think my kids watch my YouTube. Oh, they don't know that Tootie Woot now? I'm talking about you. You're you're the surprise. Uh, no, don't tell them. You gotta you gotta record us coming with their reaction. I'm talking about my vlog. I'm not gonna tell my kids. Okay. Needless to say. Well, your vlog, if as long as the kids don't see it, I don't care. Okay. Needless to say, I have not been in this downstairs room. This is where I was working out of. I'm talking to my sister on the phone, y'all. Um, but. I have not been in this room since August 6th. And the reason why I know this is because that's what my thing says here. It might've been this, I don't know. But I never put like a bed or anything in here. I still had stuff from four years ago sitting in this box. But I did get like an air mattress just in case, you know, like we're coming up on the holiday times. I told y'all before, in order for me to buy furniture, I have to absolutely love it. It has to be like an investment, something that, you know, I see myself having no matter what. So I'm about to blow up the air mattress and try to set it up, see how things look in here. Look, look, I got stuff. Just get this room together. So that's what I'm going to bring y'all along for. See, before, this would be stuff that I wouldn't even be thinking about blowing so I'm just proud of myself for the level of consistency that I've been showing in my life. 
Yeah, and then we all phone that noisy anyway, because that's the mom's dad. Ah! <laughs> y'all so it was very easy to do the air mattress this is i think my first ever air mattress that i've ever had you know this is something that i'm setting up in the room downstairs um i'll fill in the reasons why like i said i didn't really want to make a decision even though i've been in my house for going on four years i still have not figured out what or how i wanted to do this room i haven't even finished all of our bedrooms just like the main uh, furnishings throughout the house like everybody has the basics the necessities but as far as like being decorated like I have not done that I have not taken a second to even think about stuff like that but needless to say my friend just called me and um told me that I might want to stock up on things um because she was just leaving Sam's Club y'all know a couple videos ago I went to Sam's to do like my pickup and my grocery shopping and stuff like that. And she was like, there's no toilet paper. I also just watched my good sis, Nicole Patterson, her video where she was saying that they only had one pack available. Like she wasn't able to get two. She was like, don't piss me off since I seen your video. And it just made me think of you in this moment. I also just saw a video where because the ports are expected to go on strike, Somebody was like speaking out saying like, you know, you guys might want to go ahead and stock up on like canned goods, things like that. As far as like the house, the pantry, I feel like we're good for a little bit or whatever. Um, but these are like the unplanned, unexpected things that you now have to take into account. And it just reminds you of just being like in the COVID days um, to where, you know, the stores were empty. Um, and then for it to be around the holiday time, it's just crazy. So... I went ahead and placed the order to Costco. I saw that they had uh, stuff in stock. Um, so I have the confirmation that that is coming or whatever. I also did a order to Target. It's a drive up order. So once I get the notification that my order is ready, I stocked up on toilet paper because I was not able to get toilet paper. When I searched for toilet paper on Costco, like through Instacart, it came up like the flushable wipes. <laughs> um, it did not have toilet paper. It did not have paper towels. When I searched for paper towels, it came up regular like shower bath towels or whatever. So if you have not done so already, each one teach one. Make sure that your house is stocked for these things because living off of one roll, two rolls of toilet paper, that's a, that's a, uh, serious problem to have on your hand you know so like i said we definitely have toilet paper but we don't know how long these people are going to be on strike for we don't know how long things are not going to make it to us so i'd rather you know try to get what i can um and then go from there but yeah i'm about to i ordered some sheets off of amazon that came days ago as well i'm gonna throw them in the washer just to have them down here just like a black sheet set i think i paid like 15 dollars. like again this was not a dire need this is not a temporary thing um i still have plenty of room to like get around and all that like this room is kind of shaped weirdly but um i definitely still feel like a dresser all that stuff could fit in here I don't even know if this would be like my permanent location for when I am working from home. Um, but for the meantime, in between time, like the kids go to school all year round. 
it's a good temporary thing. So I'm going to finish vacuuming, get the boxes out of here, go through the uh, sheets and everything and the washer and pick y'all back up later. So I just went to the door. My Instacart order has arrived. Come with me to do my drive up pickup order from Target. So this is all that I was able to stock up on. <laughs> this right here.